Just going to YouTube, it's nothing fancy. One minute. Dee Dee will be around to hug and kiss everyone. <laughs> so please be patient. Just hold up your hand. I'm gonna stand in line too. Oh, she's not it's not her. Certainly one of the most inspirational mushers of all time. Dee Dee is uh, 1981 <laughs> Sportsmanship Award uh, and uh, numerous times. The uh, Humanitarian Award, also most well, inspirational been, musher. Been Nobody been has alive. been a better she's running the Iditarod as long as you've been alive. And of Iditarod than uh, Dee John Rowe. Wow. Yeah. Ten. Nine, not her first. Not eight, her first rodeo. Seven. <laughs> six. Sixty-five. Five. That makes me so happy. Four, That's great. Three. Two. One. Go! She's the queen of the Dalzell Gorge. One last time. Dee Dee John Rowe is at Iditarod 46. And joining Dee Dee the Iditarod is Beverly Nelms from the great state of Texas. Now, this man has been called dog racing royalty. Coming to the starting line, he's a four-time Iditarod champion. He's Denali Parks, very own. Go! That 
Memphis musher and TV personality Jesse Holmes, hoping to make a quick trip of it to Nome in Iditarod 46. And that is exactly where these dogs believe they're going right now in starting position number 42. Please welcome to the last great race on earth. This is Tim Mojo. Moodle, the rookie from Willow, hoping to make this a successful idea to run. In starting position, number 43, please welcome to the last great race on earth. This is Tom Nomeyer. She's wearing? 
She and her family operate a rescue rehab facility for unwanted sled dogs and just drive to focus attention on positive training techniques. First I did a ride in 2008. And also finished uh, last year in position number 57. My day is 19 hours to know. New York, 
a little Titan Redan on their way to the last great race on earth that ends in Nome. Some 1,200 dogs will be heading down the trail, pulling their mushrooms all the way to the famed Gold Rush town. We will have the starting position number. Running his seventh ride in a run, first entry in 2012. Best finish in 2014 uh, in position number 15. In 2016, he was voted the most inspirational musher. One minute. 35 years old, born and raised in Ohio. He says, my family taught me to love the outdoors, camping, fishing, canoeing, hunting, were all the things we did, uh, family vacations. Graduated with a BA in Fine Arts, uh, Photography from Ohio State in 2007, and moved to Alaska permanently in 2008. I worked with Matt Hayashida and trained him uh, with him and his dogs. 30 seconds. He's worked for various mushers, and in 2010, he started handling for Martin Boother. Ran his first guy dinner on his Martin Zandler. Recently moved to Willow to run dogs under his own name. Snow is brought to you by Anchorage Chrysler Dodge. <laughs> we'll find a way to sponsor everything. We move up to starting position number 46. Please welcome the last great race on earth, Andrew Nolan. Andrew Nolan, a rookie. <laughs> Uh, 18 years old, began rushing 10 years ago, and says he became interested in running the Iditarod when watching Wayne Mars race. He ran the junior Iditarod five, uh, four times, and was in 2017, uh, 2015 and 2017. He's been training with Wade uh, since he was a young boy. Works as a fisherman, and says his hobbies are running, hunting, and snowboarding. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet somebody very special. She's a good friend of ours. Please welcome to I Get a Ride 46, Sarah Lisa Murkowski. Beautiful day for the I Get a Ride. It does not get any better than this. With this snow brought to you from the heavens above, the extraordinary men and women of the I Get a Ride, but most of all, the extraordinary canine athletes. God bless you all. Safe travels. Much on. Sarah Lisa Murkowski. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! He is the rookie from Wasilla. That is Andrew Nolan running his first Iditarod. Joining him is Diane Kaplan from Alaska. Joining us for the last great race on earth, he picked number 57 as his starting number. This is Dave Delcourt. Dave back for his second round that I did ride. Last year finished in position number 15, 11 days and 18 minutes. No. 30 years old, he was born and raised in Queensbury, New York. Graduated from the State University of New York at Portland with a counselor. So he's lived in New York, Iowa, Massachusetts, and Michigan, and trail work, trail inventory, and dog sledding. Dave began mushing in 2012 and came to Alaska in 2014 to be a dog handler for Team Reddington. He says, I'm running I did around this year to get another team of puppies to know because I enjoy running. Uh, I enjoyed running last year. Dave's currently working as a deckhand and he enjoys hiking, trying new things, food, and friends. Joining Dave in the idea rider is Janelle Daly from Texas.
also win in Nome. That's Steve Del Corte that I did her on 46. In starting position number 58, please welcome to the last great race on earth. This is Emily Maxwell. Emily Maxwell, 33, was born and raised in Iowa. Grew up in Iowa City, where she earned uh, degrees in Spanish journalism and literally, literally a fair share of adventure, including running with bulls, skydiving, working as a long haul trucker, and racing in triathlon. After recovering from a severe burn injury sustained in 2013, she traveled to Alaska seeking the therapy that nature and uh, she moved to Alaska to get her much to like her pen. 30 seconds. She worked as a drop dog volunteer in 2016 2017, gaining valuable experience working with dogs and other volunteers on the trail. She's honored to run her rookie. I did her up alongside many Alaska friends, and I did her out that way. Emily Maxwell. Joining them with the dead rider is Matt Schubert from her team. Seven, six, one. This is her first, it's Emily Maxwell, making that first run to Nome, and I did her on to 46. We heard him coming a mile away, moving up to starting position number 59. Please welcome to the last great race on earth, Steve Watkins. Steve Watkins hails from Topeka, Kansas. Born in Texas and was stationed in Alaska in 2000. Steve received an engineering degree from West Point, holds advanced degrees from MIT and Harvard. Oh, and he's currently running for U.S. Congress and Fitness. This is second running of Iditarod. He was here in 2015, finished in position number 58. I listened to Steve's story at the Mushroom Bank, but this is a man who has seen war. We are so glad that he survived. We are so glad for his contribution to our country. 30 seconds. And joining Steve in the idea rider is Fong Lu from California. Hello, Fong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! In starting position number 5, that is Steve Watkins and I did a rod, 46. Nothing is holding these dogs back. Please welcome to starting position number 60. This is Travis Beals of the last great race on earth. Travis Beals, 26, born and raised in Seward. Says he first ran uh, his first sled dog race at the age of four. Always wanted to run the Iditarod. Well, this is his fifth time here. Uh, it was in 2013 that his dream first came true. So he operates tours and enjoys hunting, fishing, hiking, and the outdoors. What?
Joined by Dean Johnson, member of the Fighter Riders Club. And the action continues as we move to starting position number 61. Please welcome to historic Fourth Avenue. Mars is back for his uh, third run in here at the end Born in Oslo, Norway in 1963. Began rushing in 1997 and has completed uh, many races there in Norway. Been a full time adventurer since 1991 and spent more than 4,500 nights in the sleeping bag. More than half of those in extreme winter conditions, he says. Somewhere across Alaska, an expedition lasted 10 months. Noted in 2018 is Mars' uh, third running. He has 27 throwing dogs, in which he picks his team of 16 starters. At least half of his team has finished the Iditarod two times. He ran the race with Three, two, one, go! And joining Lars and the Ideal Rider is Nancy Livingston from California. Moving up to the starting line. In starting position number 62, this man and I have something in common. We both hail from the town of Snohomish, Washington. Please welcome to Alaska. This is Musher Scott White. That was first year at the starting line in 2007 and again in 2010. Born in Buffalo, New York, graduated from the State University of New York at Buffalo in 1986 with a degree in philosophy and design. In 1989, he left New York looking for a place where he could enjoy the culture of the city and the adventure of the outdoors at the same time and ended up in Washington to be in the mountains and the wilderness. For the last 20 years, a general contractor that uh, spent most of his free time outside camping and hiking in the summer. He says he definitely hopes to compete in this year's so identity ride better than he did the last one, but the primary goal is to do the best I can for the dogs, as it always is. Joining Scott in the identity rider is Patty Davis. Scott and I share one unique uh, comparison. We're the only two people in the state that can spell Snohomish. Trump. Hey Scott, when you get back to Snohomish and you, can, and you see my dad at Safeway, would you tell him thanks for the Christmas card? I, I needed the money, thanks. I haven't gotten the whole of him since then. You're going to be there, so. Chicano. Once the numbers run the Iditarod, and here he is to do it. A rookie in this year's race, we're glad to welcome Nico to the start line. Where is hit number 63? 
And joining me, she is Matthew Mullally. 30 seconds. This is like going at this part of the program from White Mountain to Nome. That's where we're at right now. We're down to our last six mushrooms, so stay with us. Four. Maryland in the Iditarider program. 